guys, welcome back. Recently, Crash Plan announced that they were stopping their home family plan. So, I started calculating what it would cost to do it yourself. And it turns out, doing it yourself, if you do it on a large enough scale, can actually be cheaper than using your cloud vendors, especially if you look at it for three or five years. Now, I did a whole write-up of this on my blog, Intermittent Technology, which can be found at intermit.tech. And I won't be repeating that in this video. This video will be about the hardware or one piece of the hardware I suggest using for this solution. So let's talk hardware. At first, we need a server. And as I mentioned in my articles, buying a server grade or even desktop grade hardware is going to be expensive until I ran into this little guy. This is a Miele PCG35 APO. Hell of a name, but basically it's a passively cooled uh, Apollo Lake uh, Pentium Celeron product. And I didn't like, uh, used to like the mm -hmm. Intel Atom series because I thought you, you were paying too much for the performance you were getting. But nowadays this Apollo Lake machine gives you a quad core which runs at anywhere from 1.1 to 2.5 gigahertz. And it comes with four gigs of built-in memory and a plethora of connectability and ports uh, all around the machine. Let's take a look at those. Before we look at that, let me mention there's a 03 model and a 35 model, and they're both almost the same. The only thing the 35 model has above the uh, 03 model is a bit faster processor and the ability to add M.2 and a SATA drive, two and a half inch, inside of the unit. The unit comes with a USB 2 connected card reader, a USB 3 port, a USB 2 port, and on the back we see another two USB 3 ports, a Realtek Gigabit LAN port, a HDMI 2.0 port, a VGA port for whatever reason you'd use that, 12 volt power, and the uh, adapter brick is rated for. Uh, two amps at 12 volts. So, a USB Type C plug, but it's connected to USB 3, so it's not that special. And it comes with uh, built in AC Wi Fi from an Intel chip, so that's interesting. The little machine comes installed with Windows 10, and after patching, I did some benchmarks and I tried it out, and it turns out it's actually a pretty snippy machine. Of course, you have to take the price into account. It's $179 for this version or $159 for the 03 version. And um, looking at that, I think the performance you get is very, very good. Let me show you some benchmarks.
inside is bleeding oh and your heart's bleeding and all you can see is red till you discover it is within each other to forgive and make amends if i am known then or oh, what i know now i wouldn't have said what i said i took the long road thought i'd be better on my own sometimes what's right is wrong instead Power-wise, idle, it sips between 4 and 5 watts, and on load it will uh, draw about 10 watts from the socket with a peak of 15 watt. That's very low for the performance you're getting, but keep those numbers in mind, because I'll be doing a separate video about kind of overclocking this machine, and you can actually get pretty good performance boost from doing so. But that will be a separate video. So all in all, uh, for the intended use, this is a great little machine. And um, yeah, if you just have a light production load, want to do some browsing and it needs to be cheap, I definitely recommend it. It's passively cooled and so it makes no noise whatsoever. And once you get it, the Windows 10 installation has about 16 to 17 gigabytes free on the internal eMMC memory. And that's enough to install some programs and do some basic stuff but as i said the 35 model you can always expand using a uh, normal two and a half inch ssd or hdd or get an m.2 ssd and you get all the storage you want with and, and very fast too so my usage for this will not be as a tiny desktop i will be using an external usb3 storage array to connect my storage for my diy cloud project I'll be doing that, as I mentioned, using one of the USB 3 plugs, and I'll make a video about the storage array after this. But I want the machine to be running Linux. And as it turns out, works fine. Again, that will be a separate video, but I just wanted to mention that installing Linux, Linux on this little machine worked right out, out of the box. So let me show you some uh, internal photos I took of the product. And while those are showing, this is kind of the end of the video. I'm not going to do a full-blown review and test all kinds of stuff. It's a great little machine. I think you should have a good impression of the performance now. And if you want to order it, I'll have some links in the description. Those are affiliate links, so you help me out by clicking those. And uh, hope you subscribe and like the video, and stay tuned for more videos in this series. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.